Hello guys, today we are going to unbox the state-of-the-art ZCU1285 board from Silence. Make sure you wear the anti-static strap before you begin. Now we are done with the unboxing, let's look at the key features of this amazing board. Okay, at the top left we have the dual bolts power socket and a switch. And right at the center we have the powerful Xingqiu Ultra Scale Plus RF SoC featuring XE ZU 39 dr FPGA. To the left of the chip we have 1 GTR and 4 GTY transceiver connector pads. And to the right of the chip we have the ADC and DAC connector pads. This board supports 16 differential 2.2 giga samples per second ADCs with a resolution of 12 bits and also 16 differential 6.5 giga samples per second DACs with a resolution of 14 bits. To access these ADCs and DACs we are provided with the pin layout that is shown in the board. And also to support the clock requirements of these transceivers we are provided with the hardware clock 101 super clock 2 module in here on the top and to support the clock requirements of ADCs and DACs we are provided with the hardware clock RF2 super clock module in here and this clock module also provides three phase aligned reference clocks for synchronization. Apart from these, we are also provided with a bunch of DFS features, status LEDs and push buttons for, so that that can be used for different program applications and finally to program this FPGA, we can either use the JTAG connector in here or we can use the memory card slot. So these are, are provided within this kit. Let's look at some of the other components and accessories that are provided with this board. First of all, we have two bullseye cables which can be used to connect with the transceiver connecting pads and also the data converter connecting pads. And these converters and transceivers expect a differential input so that in order to provide that, we have balance which converts a single input, single-ended input to a differential output. Finally, we have some band pass filters, low pass filters and connectors which can also be used in RF applications. You can access further information about the board and the other components on the description below. We hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.